We welcome you back to CBS Mornings. We have an exclusive joint investigation with Kaiser Health News into an unproven dental device. Now, some former patients allege in lawsuits against its inventor that it damaged their mouths, and in some of them say that they lost their teeth. Yikes. Our consumer investigative cons correspondent, that's Anna Werner, first started looking into this last year. Anna, good morning to you. Good morning, Gail. Yeah, CBS News partnered with KHN on a nine-month investigation of what's been called the Anterior Growth Guidance Appliance, or AGA. The inventor says this device has been used on more than 10,000 patients and claimed it could cure serious health conditions, sleep apnea and the jaw joint disorder called TMJ. But our investigation found no peer-reviewed studies to back his claims. What we did find? Patients who said the device mangled their mouths. A warning, some of the pictures you'll see may be disturbing. Clarinetist Boya Kragulia performed with symphonies around the world. This was her in 2013. I've spent my entire life studying the instrument and uh, trying to climb up the ladder of being a musician and always getting better at doing it. But a breathing difficulty interfered with her playing. My jaws are both too far back and therefore the, it impinges on the airway and makes the airway really quite small. Surgeons told her she needed double jaw surgery to move both her upper and lower jaw forward. But then she heard about a device on Facebook called an Anterior Growth Guidance Appliance, or AGA, a retainer-like appliance promoted as something that could expand the upper jaw without surgery. It's predictable, it's stable, and it's safe. This is the AGA's inventor, Tennessee dentist Dr. Steve Golella, seen here in Australia training dentists to use his device in 2017. He claimed that AGA could cure problems like TMJ and sleep apnea. Can you cure TMJ? Yes. Can you cure mild to moderate sleep apnea? Yes. Even make patients look better. Good-looking people get all the breaks, they get the best jobs, they get the most money. And he said it would benefit the dentist, too. It's okay to make a crap load of money. You're not ripping anybody off. You're curing them. You're helping them. You're making their life totally beautiful forever and ever. Kragulia says she went to a dentist who told her she'd attended one of those training courses. How did she explain to you what the appliance was going to do? She said that the appliance would grow the jaws forward. She says she paid some $15,000 for the AGA treatment using a device like this one that attaches to front and back teeth. Soon, she says, she noticed a gap between her canines, those upper pointy teeth, and the teeth behind them, something she says her dentist told her meant her jawbone was growing forward. I thought it was sort of miraculous and exciting. But as the months went by, she says, her front teeth flared outward. Her dentist later put on braces she said were part of the treatment, but Kragulia says her teeth were loose and painful. So finally, she went to an orthodontist for a second opinion. He lifted my lip up and just immediately said it was the worst thing he'd ever seen. And he was like, you weren't growing the jaw and you have a really serious problem. You know, the teeth are completely out of bone and the bone is gone. And, I mean, what's your reaction at that point? Uh, I was in shock. She says she can no longer perform on clarinet. In November of 2021, doctors had to remove her four front teeth. It's just like sitting down and watching someone cut your fingers off. Um, they're really gone, you know? And, um, and to see yourself without teeth is uh, a bizarre experience. Hers isn't the only story. A joint CBS News KHN investigation has found at least 20 people, including Kragulia, who have sued Dr. Galella and others over their AGA treatment. All of them said he consulted on their treatment plans with their dentists. We interviewed 11 patients, all of whom told us they wound up worse off than they started. My front six teeth also became extremely flared outwards. All six of them, instead, yes, they were doing this. I noticed my teeth were starting to get loose. I can't bite into absolutely anything. I feel like all I have to look forward to now is treatment and pain and fear and debt. Dr. George Mandelaris is a board-certified periodontist who saw Boya Kragulia. Her mouth is a catastrophe. It's like a bomb went off in her mouth. He says he's consulted with nearly a dozen former AGA patients. How would you describe what they were subjected to? 
<laughs> uh, abuse. And he says they needed urgent treatment. Because if you don't... They're going to lose their teeth. Plain and simple. Plain and simple. They're going to lose their teeth. Dr. Mandelara says he was so disturbed by what he saw, he went looking for any studies that supported the use of the AGA device. There was none. None in the peer-reviewed literature. Zero. In an email, Dr. Golella's attorney told us his client wouldn't sit for an interview, citing the pending lawsuits, but told us the device, now called the Osseo Restoration Appliance, when properly used, is safe and can achieve beneficial results for the patient, that it has been used by well over 10,000 patients, and Dr. Golella had had no complaints prior to the lawsuits. Yet in one of those lawsuits, Dr. Golella admitted he was not aware of any peer-reviewed studies or clinical trials demonstrating the ag was successful when used on adults whose jaws have finished growing. Dr. Galella? Something we wanted to ask Dr. Galella Hi. about. My name is Anna Werner with CBS News. I wanted to talk with you about your AGA device treatment. I'll take talk to you. How can you feel comfortable using the device on patients when you have no proof, no studies that it works? Dr. Galella? Last year, a judge ordered Dr. Golella to provide before and after scans from five patients to prove his device works. So CBS News and KHN took those scans and asked eight experts from dental specialties and schools nationwide, including Harvard and Columbia, to review them. Most said that expanding an adult's jawbone without surgery is physiologically impossible, and all said they saw no evidence that the AGA works. The entire concept of this device, of this treatment, makes zero sense. They didn't grow bone in these patients. What they ended up doing was um, losing bone. It's certainly not going to do what it claims it's going to do. I've not seen one patient that has had anything good come from this device. Nothing. This is snake oil. This is, this is crazy. Cregulia now has false teeth. She estimates the cost to fix her jaw and mouth now at $150,000. Plus, she says she's been told by her doctors she may lose more, <clears throat> more teeth. Pardon me. Galella's attorneys in court argue that patients were warned about potential complications, including teeth dying or removal of teeth. They also told us Cregulia's dentist installed her aga incorrectly and kept it on too long. The dentist's attorneys declined to comment. The device is still being marketed around the country. That's what I was wondering. Can people still get this device? Is it still being sold? They you know, call you it said the, the images were going to be disturbing, Anna. We're all sitting at the table gasping because yeah. you can't really hide your teeth when they look that bad. Right. And for a lot of these patients, that's part of it. You know, it's more than just something happened medically. Yes. There's embarrassment and yes. shame. One of the ladies we spoke to said that when her boyfriend goes to kiss her, that her teeth are too sensitive. Ugh. I can see why he didn't talk to you. So he has nothing to say? He still stands by this product? Dr. Galello? In, in court, um, he, his attorneys are defending the, the product, yes. Wow. Right, you're coming back tomorrow? That was shocking. We'll be back tomorrow. So tomorrow we're going to tell you where are, where's the regulation, right? So tomorrow we're going to talk to you about why um, the FDA apparently has never looked at this device. Yeah. All right, Anna Warren. I was supposed to say that part. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry, John. I thought I was supposed to ask you, Anna, but it says tomorrow the CBS News and KHN investigation will show you how this device got out into the market with no clinical trials, and no one in the FDA was apparently even aware of it. I can't. Let me just say this: I can't wait for part two. Me too. Yeah.